Good evening. I'm Cynthia Smoot. And I'm Mark Wilson. Thanks for joining us tonight. We begin Herald News Edge with a St. Pete woman missing for days. She told police she was kidnapped, raped, held hostage. But now investigators say it was all nothing but lies. Fox 13's Deborah Bowden here tonight with us. With more on that story, Deborah. Well, this happened over the Memorial Day weekend. 21-year-old Samantha Gilman went to a concert in downtown St. Pete and didn't come home. She told police she was abducted by two men and somehow managed to escape. But investigators and the young man she was with now say it's just not true. Mike Daly says he finally found someone he really liked. He and 21-year-old Samantha Gilman hit it off from the start and spent three straight days together. We had a nice Memorial Day weekend. We were at the beach Sunday and Monday with her. Saw fireworks, and it was nice. Or so he thought. Turns out her family had reported her missing. He had no idea, he says, until a friend heard it on the news. I'm like, Samantha, and they got you on the radio. Jason said you are on the radio this morning missing. She's like, what? No, it can't be me. I'm like, yeah, it's, you know, your last name, your 21, your description, what you were wearing. Uh, it's definitely you. When she finally did go home, police say she lied, telling them she'd been abducted, sexually assaulted, and held captive. But after seeing the cell phone video of her hanging out at the beach, police say Gilman admitted she made it up. I think that some of these situations, people get caught in the moment of they're maybe embarrassed about what they did, they wish they hadn't done it. She appeared in front of the press. In Washington State, Bethany Storo told police a stranger threw acid in her face, only to admit later on she'd done it herself. How are you guys holding up? And remember the famous runaway bride, Jennifer Wilbanks? She lied about being abducted to escape her wedding day, an elaborate story that cost police hundreds of man hours and tens of thousands of dollars searching for her. A lot of covering up and a lot of avoidance of dealing with the real consequences without a thought to what the actual consequences are in terms of police time or FBI time or the anguish of others who are worried about you. I really can't believe she said that. Gilman was arrested for lying to police. Daly says he's just stunned by it all. I don't know why she would make up uh, them allegations. To say, you know, to tell her mom or parents, I don't, I can't, I can't, I don't understand why she would say that at all. Gilman is now charged with filing a false police report. She was already on probation for writing bad checks. And police say they spent thousands of dollars searching for her and investigating her claims. She now may have to pay it back. That will ultimately be up to a judge. Cynthia?